Oh my god! Oh. oh, I just banged my elbow. Hello everybody, welcome to today's video, and in today's video, we are going to talk to, not talk, but do some repairs on my bike. So, let's go ahead and let's get into it. Before I get anything, make sure that you guys like this video, and I do know that I am kind of dark here. Maybe if I turn that off, does that make it any better? Uh, no, not so much. Well, I do apologize about the lighting. It's kind of awkward right now. So today, before I get into it, make sure that you guys subs hit that like button and make sure that you hit notifications and make sure that you subscribe to this channel. So today, we are going to be doing repairs on my 2017 Raleigh Venture soap. Let me go ahead and go on ahead and explain why all this is happening because I know that my Roblox is really like, Tristan, it's been like a few days since you released a Roblox video. Oh my God. And then there's, I was like, yes. Fucking vlogs are returning again. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So, here's a story. So, as you well know, I was riding a mountain bike for the last six months. I got back into cycling after not doing it for about a year because I moved to the Virgin Islands. And the terrain wasn't there, wasn't bicycle friendly. So that's why I basically stopped riding in the Virgin Islands, and that's why I decided it was best for me to, you know, wait, and then I moved back to the States, and I started cycling again, and then now I finally got my bike back. Now, I was going to be riding this bike back in, like, February, March, because the mountain, because the road bike was being sold, and it ended up uh, not getting sold yet, but it is going to be sold. So, this here is basically my bike that I'm going to be riding, and it's in some pretty bad shape. It has some mold on it, it has a lot of mildew, a lot of rust, a lot of mold. It's, there, are some, it, there are some things that are going to need some replacing. Now, for this being a 2017, it's not, you know, I've, ha I've had this bike a long time, it's got... A lot of miles on it, and we're going to see what we can do to fix it and get it rolling again. So that way we can roll it again, we can get it on the road, and now we can finally get it running. Before I do that, I want to say one thing. So when they moved my bike to, from the States to the Virgin Islands, there was like this yellow paint stuff that got on my bike. And I'm like, how did that get there? Not, not, not to only mention that when they took it from the Virgin Islands back to the States, the movers twisted my handlebars on my bike, and now it's completely misaligned. And I want to get back out there, get to riding. I live in a neighborhood where I can ride and all this stuff, so I need to make these preparations. Plus, this bike will be my personal vehicle until I get a car, obviously. Now, 
I was actually thinking about getting like a scooter or like a moped. But because I live on a rental property, I don't have my own garage and all that stuff, anybody can really just walk up and steal it. So that's part of the reason why I don't want to get one. Now if I were to move into like a house or a place that has a garage, or I might actually considering getting a moped or a scooter. And but obviously we can't do that. So until then, cycling is my only option. So with all further ado, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, so here is the bike. So like I said, it's in some really worse shape. I know it's kind of hard to see, but look at how nasty this bike is. Now of course there's still some tape on it, but this is what I'm talking about. So you see all over this tire here, how it has this like paint looking stuff. I think what happened was, is that they probably spilled some paint. I don't know if the camera can, can get a close up of that. But yeah, I mean look at that. There's paint all over that. And it's like, real? So there's paint all over that. So I was actually thinking about possibly painting it, but because it's silver color, I can't really paint the rims itself. But the tire, as you can see, it's pretty, well, you guys can't even see it. The tire, as you can see, as the camera focuses there, you can't really see the tread is actually worn. So I'm gonna have to get a new tire eventually because once this wears out, wears out, um, I'm pretty much gonna have to replace it. And you know, I have had this bike since 2017 and not once had to replace the tire at all. I mean, even this tire here. I mean, one time there there was a staple that got in this tire and it didn't even pop, and it still works. Now, of course, they are a bit flat, so I am going to have to put air into it. But let me go and show you where the worst of it is. Oh, besides the steering being misaligned, that's an easy fix. But look at this. Do you guys see this? I don't know if you guys have seen my bike in the past videos, but this is absolutely disgusting. I mean, look at that. This here, basically, is mold. Basically, it's mold. And, you know, um, it's gotten a lot of dust, a lot of mold in it. I, I honestly think it can easily, I, I, I think it could be fixed, and I do think that it can be easy, it can be an easy fix. But, I mean, look at that. As the camera focuses. Come on, camera, focus. Come on. No, it's not going to focus that well. But I mean, look at that. It looks like I'm driving an old, moldy vehicle that was abandoned for for like a year. Which basically is, hasn't been used in like a year. But, I mean, here we are. Um, so, let's go over the damages. So, this here, this right here, my brake line cable is rusted out on both cables they're, they are they are rusted so I'm gonna have to get that replaced eventually but as for now I'm not really all that worried about it not only that my brakes pads are extremely worn on the front I mean on the back and on the front my brake pads are literally riding this here. I don't know if you can see that, but the one pad is literally riding the um, the rim. So I'm going to have to get that fixed. Now, this here got some mildew mold on it. I mean, it's just metal, but it's just aluminum, but that's an easy fix. And I mean, I'm going to be wearing gloves anyway, so it's not like it's going to really all that matter. But yeah, so this is pretty disgusting. What's really most disgusting is my seat. Look at that. My seat literally has a bunch of mold on it. So this bicycle is going to look like crap. 
So it might deter people from stealing it, but who really knows? All right, so we're gonna go and fix. We're gonna go and see what we can try to fix here. All right, so let me get the rest of this tape off first, so I can get a better look at what's going on. And by the way, uh, I'm gonna be getting a mat fur in here because that way I don't get the carpet all dirty. Because you know we live on a rental property and it's best to keep it inside and there's not really a good place to really put this bike. So we're just gonna put it right in here. Okay, so look at this mess. I mean, and look at this down here. This little plastic thing down here is completely, like there's some broken bits on it, but as long as the bike runs, that's pretty much all that really matters. As, as long as it runs. As long as it runs, we should be good. But we got to try to see what we can try to do about the alignment. So, there's the alignment. Let me go and find a, a hex key, an allen wrench, and see if we can try to uh, try to fix the alignment on this. Alright. Okay, before I do that, I gotta remove my holder here for the. I gotta remove this, this piece of junk. This, this, uh, my phone holder is is so badly molded. That's gotta go. And let me grab the scissors real quick. Just gotta grab the scissors. Okay, so let me get my scissors here. I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to have to go buy a new one from Walmart next time we ever go to Walmart. And, yeah, this one here seen some pretty, has, has seen some uh, wear and tear. So now I can pretty much just... Uh, Take it right off, and this is this is going right in the garbage because it's so badly molded. I mean, you just have no idea how bad of a mold this this was. It was it was crazy, and I mean, it's not really going to do me any good because it's molded. We don't want to be getting sick when riding this thing, do we? No, we don't want to get sick. But, I mean, as for the handlebars, I mean, I mean, look at how bad, I mean, this bike got rust on it and everything. So, I really don't know what's going to happen to it. But, let me see if I can get this stupid thing off. Oh, I can't get it off. to anything it should just oh, you know what I think I think I gotta cut this right here Ugh, I can't I can't get it I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get it get it further Still can't get it. And the thing about it is they wrapped it instead of just putting it on there. So Alright. Woo! We got it off. We go ahead and throw that away. 
going to keep the little tool thing because we might need it. I'm going to also keep that. And everything else, pretty much go. Now this here is my GoPro thing. I'm going to take this off and I'm going to clean it real good. And as you know, I don't have a GoPro because my old GoPro got fried in the Virgin Islands. So I'm going to have to buy a new GoPro, which I haven't done yet. Um, this here, the light's good. The lights, the lights should be good. This here is my speedometer thing. I gotta hook that back up. But I mean, yeah, I need to figure out how to, I, I don't know if the grips can come off, but just temporary. Ooh, listen to that sound. All right, now we gotta make sure that this is properly aligned. So I gotta properly align it. So that way, um, that way it's aligned. It's a bit tricky to do this because, all right, stay straight like this, keep it like that. And I'll try to see if it's, I'll try to see if I can align it. Let me see, is it aligned? Uh, For the most part, looks like it's aligned. Maybe. Because if I'm standing like this, real tight, this should be center. So I think it is aligned. No way for me to really tell. All right, so it's aligned. So what else should we do? Well, we should probably put some, uh, well, let's first of all, let's take a look at this. This here is pretty old, pretty nasty. I don't even know if it works. Yeah. I mean, I'll leave it on for right now, but it's pretty nasty. It's pretty old. Uh, we're going to go and put some air in the tires and pump it up with air. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright, and as you see what I'm talking about, there's like this paint stuff. Well, actually, it's coming off actually. But I've tried, I've tried hosing it off, I've tried all that. It doesn't really work, so... Yeah, so there's like paint that got on it or something. But, yeah. It probably does need WD-40. But, I mean long as it runs, it runs, but we'll have to see. Um, oh. Trying to see if it'll fit on here. I've done this before, but Oh my god! Oh. oh, I just banged my elbow. Come on. Snap down. Whew. Okay. So my tires have no air in them. So we're going to put some air into them. This can be a bit of a bit of a pain if you ask me.
Probably need one more pump. Don't want to put too much air into it because you'll because the tires will explode. Come on! Stupid nozzle. Jeez. Gonna have to get some oil for this bike. I don't even know if the things even work. Guess we'll have to try it later. Whew. Okay. So now we got that done. Now. Alright, so. I gotta figure out why these are riding. So, because when I pull the front brake, they should not be riding. These should not, this should not be happening. Maybe I need to like, I don't know. It's tight on there, but it's like when my brakes, it's like they're like riding on it, you know? Like after I release the brake, like, it's like riding on it. So we gotta get that one too. Oh my goodness, I didn't even show you. All right, so brake is pulled. not riding but these things got to go okay so let's put air whoops into this tire so once again we're gonna try to get the nozzle off Now that's on there. My tire is nice and hard. Come on. Ow. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I never had this much issue. Ooh. Never had this much issue with doing this. Man, I'm just getting banged up, cut up. Just have no idea. And I like these valves better because they're not like those Presta valves. Oh my god, I can't stand Presta valves. Oh, I don't like Presta valves. I think they're stupid. Anyway, let's go and see what else we gotta do. I wanna figure out why the brakes are riding the way they do. Because the brakes practically are riding. And I gotta go find a screwdriver, so I'll be right back. Let me go get a screwdriver. So I can. So that way I can do this 
the best fashion. So, okay, one of the breaks, I think what needs to be done is I need to like tighten these things here. And that might get them away from the rim. So that way they're not like riding, riding the rim. Like, so maybe these need to be tightened. And yes, I could use a drill, but I don't want to risk stripping these screws because they are a pain to have to replace. You know, I mean, I had my brakes replaced on my bike in the back, on the, on the rear brakes, and they put the brakes on backwards. So I had to spend all day fixing it and I was not happy about it. So now that that's tightened down, that might prevent them from not returning to their position. I gotta turn, turn this so I can do this. And these screws are completely rusted out from sitting. So I think this bike uh, is, is probably going to have about a few year, few more years left in it before big expensive ha big expenses has have to be paid. Okay. So let's do it. No, still, still riding. All right, I, all right, let me go grab my drill real quick and I'll see if that'll, that'll fix it. Let me finish tying this down. I hope I didn't knock the alarm off. All right, that's good. Make sure it's on it nice and tight. So when I turn the wheel, I hear something like, like stuck, like grabbing. So I'm going to see what exactly could be causing that. So I'm going to have to flip the bike over and see where, how that, why that is. Alright, so I came to a conclusion. So I have it on its side and take a listen, but ignore the little, this little paper I got to cut. It's right here. It's like a little piece of tape. I don't know if I can cut it because it's duct tape. Certainly try. But <clears throat> listen. But the problem is is that this here can't be rubbing up against the, the rim. And that's what it's doing. And this screwdriver is not really doing it. I gotta go grab a. Let me go grab the other one. Because it's not doing it. Be 
because it's not doing it. Like I said, it's rusted. The brakes in the back are worn. You know, I'm going to have to get new brakes. It's basically inevitable. We gotta try to get this all the way down so that way we don't have to worry about the damn brakes getting caught on the frame because that's what happened the last time I replaced the brakes. It's like after you release the brakes, they uh they don't stay. They basically just And it's basically like rubbing up against here when it shouldn't be. You know what I mean? So the brakes are released. Now when I let them off, if I were to take this wheel, I must spin it hard. It's rubbing up against it. And you hear that? Woo! It shouldn't be doing that. It should not be doing that. Because it will not take much. But, you know, it'll wear, it'll wear down the pad. And that I should not be able to do that. Now, of course, I could tighten up the brakes, but what good is that going to do against that? I mean, you know, I don't want to mess with the brakes because it's a pain to have to get. But really what I should do is loosen the cable just a little bit. So that way that doesn't happen. And my camera is getting full. So anyway guys, thank you guys for watching. Just like, comment, and subscribe.